There can be no question that GNSS has presented the industry with many challenges over the years, especially when we consider jamming and spoofing issues. But GNSS is a critical element of our synchronisation networks and will continue to be so in 5G infrastructures. With 5G, we need to bring the timing source much closer to the base stations and small cells, and this isn't feasible without GNSS. We believe that L1 GNSS will rapidly evolve to L1 and L2 GNSS in the future. Yes, it's more expensive, but the improved accuracy outweighs the extra cost. It's also important to understand how GNSS is deployed. Traditionally, GNSS was used in a base station tower or on a rooftop, and these are generally located in areas with plenty of open space and clear sky visibility. This ensures that any GNSS signal reflection caused by multipathing and any impact on synchronization accuracy is kept to an absolute minimum. However, engineers around the world are working to improve GNSS reception. They're looking into special algorithms so that it can be deployed in densely populated areas, especially those with limited sky visibility, such as urban canyons. Success here could have a significant impact on how this technology is used and could bring major improvements to the efficiency of radio access networks.